Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing Mish Beauty Products. New line from a natural hair YouTuber. Anytime I see a natural hair brand and the ingredients are good, I'm always kind of interested. So I kind of saw it around the way. The ingredients look good and I followed her on Instagram. And someone was talking to me on Instagram about the products and had mixed reviews, let's put it that way. And the owner came on and she was very nice and very sweet and very professional in how she handled the situation. So I was very impressed by that. And I just you know, said some encouraging things like, I wish you all the success and everything. And she actually offered to send me the products for me to try them myself to form my own opinion. And she kindly sent me these items. So I was just happy to have the opportunity to try them. Unfortunately, I'm coming to you in pigtails because Things didn't quite go as planned and we'll get into that later, but let's talk about the products now. So I was almost able to do a full wash day with these products. She doesn't have a shampoo yet, so I did use a different shampoo. I used the Camille Rose Holiday Collection shampoo from forever ago, like two years ago or something, and I'm still working my way through. And I like that shampoo, it's a fine shampoo, it doesn't strip my hair or anything, but it does remove the excess dirt and oil. So it is still a good test for a deep conditioner. After I shampooed my hair, I got into the Mish products. Starting off with the deep conditioner, we have the Mish Indulge Deep Conditioner. So first let me just say I love the packaging and I love the names, like packaging, names on point love and of course it has raw honey as you can see which is speaking my language as you can see simple and good which is what i like i like the scent it's definitely in the sweet range sweet kind of foodie range it's sweet ish with a little bit of earthy to it the texture is really nice it's like really creamy and light so it's not thick at all it's not drippy at all either but it spreads really nicely and penetrates nicely into your hair so as you can see here you know, it goes in really nicely. I really like this deep conditioner. The slip was nice. The moisture, the softness was great. So when I just put it on, my hair felt, you know, soft, moisturized, okay, fine. But after I let it sit and I steam my hair, it hit that spot, that spot, that spot. I don't even know how to describe it, but you know that feeling when your hair just, my hair almost feels heavy because it's actually soaked up so much moisture and just feels super hydrated and stuff, which happens with all my HD deep conditioners. It hit that spot. That's how my hair felt after I let it steam. So it felt nice at first and everything. So I wouldn't say it was a sitter at all, but the script flipped. It just felt 10 times better after sitting. So it went from nice to yes, this is one of them. This is one of those deep conditioners that gives my hair that yes. So I definitely love the deep conditioner. I think the honey is what probably like tipped it over the edge for me. If you're looking for a good deep conditioner and you like kind of creamy buttery deep conditioners that are still penetrating and moisturizing, I would definitely say give this a try. This was my favorite product out of the four that I tried. The deep conditioner was it. Unfortunately, we have to go from my favorite to my least favorite. My least favorite would be the leave-in. It has a nice consistency. It spreads well. It smells great. Like, this is my favorite in terms of the scent. Just my least favorite in terms of the performance. I love the texture. It's really light and creamy. But as you can see, it's a bit thick and it takes a while to penetrate. So let me show you. You see what I mean? And when this does this on my skin, you know it's doing that in my hair, and my hair just couldn't deal with it. So, <laughs> if you like buttery leave-ins, like creamy, buttery, sheer moisture kind of things, if that's your thing, definitely try that and you will love this, because you gotta work it in. But if you are like ultra low porosity like me, it just, I mean it did go in, but like you saw, the struggle was present, so. If you're ultra low porosity like me and you like the stuff I like, this might be a bit too heavy for you. So that was the case with me with this leave-in. It felt great, smelled great, really softened my hair, but it was a little too heavy. It was a sitter, didn't penetrate my hair. So I wasn't able to get as much moisture as I could have gotten, I guess, if my porosity was higher. Just because it was a little heavy for me. I like fruit extracts, humectants. Yeah, I like my fatty alcohols in my leave-in too. I need my fruit extracts and my honey and stuff like that. When you start to talk a bunch of butters, my hair just, oh gosh, my hair just starts to go. 
that ain't probably ain't gonna work for me. And unfortunately, that was the case with us leaving. And unfortunately, <laughs> I decided to do a kind of leave-in only or leave-in and cream wash and go, which is why we're in this situation because, you know, my hair didn't get sufficiently moisturized. But I do think it's a great product and I do think if your porosity is higher or even normal, definitely give it a try. If you have colored hair, give it a try. Things like that. It'll probably work well for you. Just not for the ultra low porosity girl. These are the ingredients. So it does have some glycerin in there, but just not enough fruit extracts and honey for your girl. It just didn't give me enough moisture, didn't moisturize, didn't define at all. It frizzed off my hair more than defined. Which for a wash and go girl isn't the best. <laughs> but if I was doing like a twist out or something with this, then I could probably get a little more success with it. And I might just do some braids with this in a bit after this video. It just smells really sweet and light and happy. Almost like fruit punch, but in a good way. Like if you like fruit punch like that, if you don't like fruit punch, fruit punch in a good way. It just smells sweet and slightly fruity and just happy of all my favorite things. So I do love the scent, I love the texture and everything. It's just like you saw, low porosity, this just didn't work. So hopefully she'll come out with a lighter leave-in for low porosity girls or fine hair girls. I'm not fine hair, I'm coarse hair, but I'm low porosity. I love the name of it, Lavish. The names are definitely working for me. Makes you feel kind of luxurious, I guess, using them, which I guess is the point. So next up, we have this polished oil, which I used over the leave-in. And I really like this oil. I make my own oil mixes. I just buy the individual oils and mix them. I don't really buy oils. And a lot of times when you buy oils, they just take all the point out of it, in my opinion, in that they have no slip and they don't do anything and stuff. But this felt almost like my homemade oil, which for me is good because I like my homemade oil. So it was a little bit lighter than the homemade oil mix, which is good because the one thing about oils is how heavy they can be, like just olive oil by itself is just kind of heavy. So this has some fractionated oils and it was a bit lighter, but it still maintained the slip, which I like. This is it here. And I like that it has slip, like, you know, my DIY oils tend to have slip, but a lot of like mixed oils I purchase don't have any slip. So it has slip and it smells great. It smells sweet. I would say it smells like passion fruit, except you guys probably wouldn't know what I mean. But again, in the sweet fruity range. So it's a pretty basic moisturizing sealing oil. It has almond, which is one of my favorite oils. Soybean, don't really use. The Capri Triglyceride, which is like a light kind of fatty oil to just help lighten up the mix. Fractionated coconut oil, again a light version of coconut oil. Then it has the olive oil, which I like. Argan oil, which is nice. Apricot oil, which I like. Cocoa oil, which I like. Vitamin E oil, which I like. You'll kind of see in the trend, right? So I pretty much like and use most of these. The only one I don't use is argan in this. And more just because of the price than anything else. And soybean, which, you know, I mean it's a good oil, but I have too many oils in my life already. A lot of these oils are light and kind of sweet smelling and stuff. She stands off good. She didn't have a lot to go to go from the DIY mix to this, which is good because it feels more natural and they haven't taken all the benefits of the oil out of the oil to repackage it. Last but not least, we have the quenched hydrating and twisting butter. So I didn't really get to, I use like a fingertip per quarter of my hair. So I can't say I got to really test this out. These are the ingredients in the twisting butter. It did seem moisturizing, but it didn't define or add any hole. This is the texture. I like the texture of it. It's just creamy and light. Like pretty much everything here is kind of in that creamy but light spectrum. And let me show you. The butter actually went in better than the leave-in. Like I don't know what it was with that leave-in, but that leave-in just didn't want to play with me. If you're looking for, you like those butters, you like your butters, definitely give this a try. It seemed fine. It seemed... Like it did the thing in terms of just adding some emollient, softening, sealing in your moisture, doing cream things. It definitely did cream things for me and I'm happy with it. It did seem like a nice rich cream and as I get my braid out life and twist out life going I can probably use some more of this and let you guys know. So that's it, my review. The deep conditioner was awesome, the oil and the butter worked great for me. The leave-in wasn't exactly for me, but I can see it being for somebody with a high porosity. I don't really recommend the leave-in or the cream for wash and goes, at least if your hair is like mine, but definitely I think they will give you a really nice moisturized twist out or braid out. 
So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried these products, what kind of style you try them on, and how you like them, and if you plan to try them. Just let me know in the comments below. See you in the next one. Bye.